Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today I have some updates that I want to do to my Harry Potter room and I want to bring you guys along with me. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, yes, we have some updates to do in this Harry Potter room. I have a, quite a few things I want to hang up. And then I want to completely redo my pin board that's right over there. <laughs> I want to take everything off and just dedicate it to a Goblet of Fire. And then hopefully I have some time to do some other updates as well. But let's get started with hanging some things up. I'll show you the things I want to hang up. <laughs> They're right here. So first I have this Diagon Alley sign. This is from the Harry Potter New York store. It retails for $20. And this is just like a close up of the sign. It's a metal sign. It's got two little areas that you can hang it up from. Maybe you can see it a little better on the back. So I want to hang this one up on the brick wall. I think it'd be so nice. I do have a Diagon Alley sign right here, but that's on this wall and they're, they're different. <laughs> I think this one will look really good on the brick. I want to put it above my curtains, so it's going to be a perfect spot for it. The next item I want to hang up is this Hogwarts crest. You would have seen this in my recent Shop With Me vlog when I went to Books A Million. That's where I got this one. I want to put this one also on the brick wall and can't wait to hang it up. So we'll do that. And then, last but not least, I'm not sure if I've showed this item on YouTube before, but I got this on Facebook Marketplace with a couple wands as well. And it's a wand display by Noble Collection. It holds four wands and I've been wanting to hang this one up. I wanna put it by the mirror. I think it's gonna look perfect there cause it's nice and like slim and I only have a slim little spot that would fit there. So I'm gonna hang this up and then it gives me more room to collect some more wands. So I do have my own wand display, but it's getting pretty full. I think, yeah, I only have three more spots on there. So this gives me four more spots to display some. So we will be hanging this one up as well. All right, let's get started with hanging up the Diagon Alley sign. All right, first thing, I already put some masking tape on the back here and I already put little marks where I want to put my nails because that's where you would fuck this up. So let's take that off of the sign now. And if you've seen me hang up stuff in the past, you would see me use the same method. So I'm gonna now add the masking tape where I want to hang up the sign, and then I'll be leveling it out with my level. So, kind of figuring out where exactly I wanna put it. I also want it to be centered with the curtains, so we've got that as well. Bella's in here if you can hear her. Right about here is going to be a good height. All right, it's level. Now we are going to nail in this tiny little gold nail where I made the markers. Oh my gosh, it's so small. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, both nails are in and now it's time to take off the masking tape. And time to hang it up. hope it's leveled and here it is hung up it is perfect up here I love it along the brick wall it looks so good and here it is on another angle I'm trying to back up so you really get a good look of how it looks along with the curtains and the collection it just looks so perfect up there all right now to hang up this wand display and here's a close-up if i didn't give you one earlier with my fingerprints and all these little metal tabs i will be taking off because the names i don't know if you can see them that are on here are going to be the ones that are going to be going in here but yeah this is what it looks like i like the hogwarts crest on the front and then here is the licensing information on the back and this did come secondhand. I did get this from Facebook Marketplace. I think I paid around $30 for this and three other wands, which was amazing because if you buy this on Noble Collections website, I think it runs around $100, give or take <laughs> 10 to 20 bucks. But yeah, so I'm excited to put this up. It's gonna be going right here. So I hope that looks okay. I'm afraid of making this area super crowded, but I also want to utilize as much space as possible. So I'm going for it. This is this placement that I've decided on and I think it's going to look good. So yeah, let's go ahead and start hanging it up. I've got 
my blue tape, then I will level out, I think right here. I'm gonna kinda put it right below that line. I think they'll look good. All right, now to add these little nails with my hammer, of course. <laughs> see if it's level level enough ignore the mess but here it is next to the mirror I think it looks so good so I was kind of trying to make it so it's like in the middle of those as well so I was thinking about that as I was putting it up and then the next item I want to put down here and I hope everything looks okay but I don't think it looks too crowded I think it looks like it goes but yeah, that's the wand display. Can't wait to start filling it in. And I do know what four wands I want to collect and put in there, but I will have to wait, save up, and start collecting them slowly. <laughs> I'm sitting on a stool right now, but now to put in the Hogwarts crest, I am just gonna use a nail. It is pretty heavy, but I think a nail will do just fine. I did find one about this size, if you can see. And we will see. This is the back. And that's what we're gonna be hanging it on. So let's go. Perfect. And here it is on the wall complete. It looks so good. Love it. All right, now it's time to work on this pin board. So I want to start with like a fresh canvas basically. So I'm gonna take off everything and then start adding on some pieces and see what we come up with. But I'll show you some of the few new pins that I got too along the way, but first let's clear this all out. I did buy some new pins on Amazon too, because the board comes with these, which look basically the same, and I just wanted to get some extra just in case you needed them. All right, now we have a empty pin board. So let's get the planning. I'll be moving things around, I'm sure, and kind of finding the perfect spots. And then I'll show you some close-ups once it is finished. But let me show you some of the new pins that I've recently added to my collection. The first is my Rita Skeeter pin, and this is her as a beetle, and I got this from the Lit Joy Crate subscription box. Next is this Yule Ball, like pumpkin juice glasses that you would have seen at the Yule Ball. And this is from a past Geek Gear box by Cherry Wallace, but I found mine on Mercari. Here are a bunch of pins from the same Etsy shop. So we've got all of the Triwizard Champion jerseys on top. We've got the Yule Ball ceiling in the Great Hall. We've got a Mad-Eye Moody flask filling out. And then we've got a minky old boot, which is the port key for when they're going to the Quidditch World Cup. Here's a close up of them love. Here's a Mad-Eye Moody pin and it has his flask, it's got his walking stick, his googly eye, <laughs> and I love the glitter enamel as well in there. And it says constant vigilance on the top middle as well. Then I got these three new pins from Made by a Muggle and this Rita Skeeter one is going to be perfect for the pin board since it is Goblet of Fire themed. And for the pins that are not Goblet of Fire themed, I do have plans for them so I'll be showing that to you soon. Also, a friend of mine sent me this one since I wasn't subscribed to the Wizarding Trunk when they released this pin, and I was so grateful that she sent it over, so thank you, Natalie. <laughs> but I thought it would be perfect for the board. These two came from the same Etsy shop, and we've got the Tri-Wizard Cup, and then we have the Golden Egg, and you can see like all three of the competitions as well within the egg, which I thought was super cool love these two also as an add-on for that box i have this one of crumb swimming through the black lake with his shark head these two are from pure dead brilliant and we've got a grindelow with the black lake sign 
and then we have all of the ingredients to bring Voldemort back to life. All right, it's actually two weeks later. So I started this the weekend of July 4th, and then the next weekend I went to Universal for the day, and now we are on the weekend of the 17th. Today is Sunday the 17th, and I am going to show you the pin board finished, and then a few other highlights in this room, and I did pick something up when I was at Universal. I got this Grimmauld Place sign. It was only $15. There's the price. So I do wanna hang this up, I think actually above the little wand stand that I put up. And then I also got an order. A friend picked this up for me from the Harry Potter New York store. And it's gonna be my very first wand that's gonna go in the wand display. It's got a little card. And then here it is, the Sword of Gryffindor wand. So pretty. Here is the top. It's gorgeous. So I do want to get all four of the house relics and put them in there. Maybe, since I only have four spots, I might not get the Ravenclaw one because that one I don't really love how it looks. I do prefer the Hogwarts like architect looking one, so I might get that one and then the Hufflepuff cup and then the Slytherin locket and then of course I have the Gryffindor sword, but it's so pretty. <laughs> so happy to have this, so I will definitely be putting that in the wand stand. And this is my first wand from like this kind of series, I don't even know, the exclusive design collection, I guess is what this one's called. So I can't remember exactly how much this one cost. I think it runs around $38, $40, which is in par with the rest of the wands. But yeah, I am happy to add this to my collection and I can't wait to get the rest of them, but slow and steady. <laughs> but those are the few new items that I got in between the weeks that I am finishing this project. Now I wanna go ahead and show you the finished pin board and then add on to a couple other things as well. I still can't decide if I want this to be my center picture. I also have this Grindelow that could go here. So let me know in the comments which one you prefer, Moni Myrtle or the Grindelow. I still can't decide. I did post this already over on my Instagram and I had the Grindelow up. I did a poll over there and Moni and Myrtle did win by a little bit. So I decided to change it up and put her on here. But let me go over everything that is on this board. So down here we have our daily profit. This is a card that you can get by Nina Lima from Universal Orlando. I have my two Rita Skeeter pins. I have two pins for Moody. I have my little Bobaton section with floor and a Bobaton patch. Then I have my Yule Ball area and Bobaton kind of mixed together. So we have Hermione's dress and then Ron's dress robes. Those are Christmas ornaments from Universal. I have these Yule Ball pins. I have a Yule Ball ticket. This is the bookmark from Lit Joy Crate. This is a Bobaton ticket. This I got from Etsy. I have another patch. This was from the Wizarding Trunk. And then up here above the picture, I have each of the Triwizard Champions jerseys. So we've got Floors, Cedrics, Harrys, and Victor Crumb. So I like that right there in the center. Then in this corner, we kind of have our Quidditch World Cup area. So we have our port key that brought us to the World Cup. Here is our tickets. We've got Ireland and Bulgaria represented on here. So both of the Quidditch teams. I have the Durmstrain ticket. This is also from the same Etsy shop owner that did the Bobaton ticket. And then I have a Black Lake National Park patch. I have these two artworks from Lit Joy Crate. So I have the first task and the second task kind of represented on here. So we've got the dragons and the mer people. Then the pins, we have that Black Lake pin as well. So I have that artwork and as a pin. Then I have everything that you need to bring Voldemort back to life. Then down here I have another artwork from Lit Joy Crate. This is by Seaside Spirit and it shows the Goblet of Fire with the Triwizard Champions with the name coming out, which I thought is super cool. I have the Potter really stings and Cedric is the real champion. I don't know if that's showing up. 
There you can kind of see the Cedric part. And Potter really stinks. <laughs> and I have that button kind of just sitting on a little tack. And then I have my name that came out of the Goblet of Fire, of course. And this was from the Wizarding Trunk. I have the Triwizard Cup, and then I have my golden egg down here. And then it looks like I missed two more. So we have the crumb with his shark head here, and then we have the window outlooking the Black Lake down here. So I think that was everything. And I'll try to link anything that is still available in my description box if you are interested. All right, so the pin board is done. I love how it looks with my Goblet of Fire shelves. So I've got a Goblet of Fire pin board and then I have my Goblet of Fire shelves. So beautiful. They look so great together. Next, I have this pin banner that I want to put up with some of the pins that I still want to keep, but don't go for the Goblet of Fire theme. So I want to put this together and then I'm going to hang it in this little empty corner. I think it's gonna go perfect there. So we have a lot to go through. I do have these really cute jelly bean pins that I got from my friend Nicole. I have to link her Etsy shop. So there was six, but I put three of them on a fanny pack, but these three are definitely gonna go on the pin banner. And then I wanna hang up these as well. So I have these keys from Let Joy Crate. So I want to put them right over here next to it, kind of like staggered. So we'll hang that up here shortly and then I'll show you what it looks like. Right, I just put the keys up. I just added a tiny little nail to hang both of those up. But look how cute. And here is the Beau Baton one. And I think they fill this gap so perfectly really happy with how that turned out. Now I have my proclamation educational decree number five banner up with a bunch of different pins. This one would be cool to have only like umbrage inspired pins, but I only have a few that kind of represent her. So this will do for now. And it's a great way to display all my pins that are not Goblet of Fire themed. And here's a backup view of what it looks like with everything else. I am just loving how all the new pins look and how they're displayed and the keys. They look so great on the wall. I'm really loving the Goblet of Fire theme and how it turned out. I was kind of collecting pieces here and there and how it all came together I am super happy with. So now let's go ahead and hang up my Grimmel Place sign and we'll go put the wand in the display and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, now to add the wand in the display, I think I'll put it in this third one here. And then they kind of have these little indents on the bottom. And I need to get rid of <laughs> these tabs, but the wand looks so good. Can't wait to fill it all in. Now to hang up this sign, I am thinking above this wand display right here in this gap, I think it's gonna be a good spot. Now, I don't know if I should nail it in because I'm not 100% sure if I love this spot. So I think I might just use a command strip to the back. It's very lightweight and I can always move it later on if I'm not happy with it. Here's how I'm adding the strips to the back. So these are just really little ones because this is like no weight at all. So I think these are fine. Take those back off. And then I'll be placed into the wall, but I need both hands because <laughs> I'm gonna try to level it at the same time. And then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, here it is. Above the wand display. It was really hard to level because when I had it level, it didn't look level because these lines are not level. So I just kind of eyeballed it instead. I hope it looks okay. I don't know if I should move it in closer to the mirror or not. I might. Here's more of a backed up view. I know the lighting is creating a bad glare on the wand display, but it shows you kind of the placement for the signs and all the new stuff that I've added. Let me know what your thoughts are. All right, now that I have all the things that I want hung up, I wanna show you a couple new things that I've added to the room, so new purchases. So right down here below the mirror, 
I got this new Thestral jewelry display from Pottery Barn Teen. It's so cute. Let me take the lid off. I am obsessed with it. I just put my Gryffindor Alex and Ani bracelet over it. And then there's Harry's glasses back there. That's from a Charmed Roma candle. I am just obsessed with it. But I think it looks so good displayed with all the other gold items down here. So I just kind of shuffled things around, but it's the same stuff that's been on here. So this is the Time Turner from Pottery Barn Teen. It's also a clock. This is the Golden Egg from Let Joy Crate. This is from an Etsy shop. This is from Pottery Barn Teen, it's also a clock. This is a Charmed Aroma Candle. This is from Pottery Barn Teen and it's also a clock. And then I have these book pages, roses, that my husband got me, I think from Etsy. But I think it looks so good displayed down here. Here's another new item. This is a Noble Collection item that I found on Mercari for about half the retail price. So I thought that was such a great find and it's super nice in person, very detailed. The wheels actually move on this, which is cool. So that is one of my new items and it's down here since I've got a little bit of a Hogwarts Express collection going on. And then I know I've showed you all of this new stuff, but you might have noticed, being on the couch, <laughs> Then I got this Triwizard Cup. This is from Noble Collection as well. It's very heavy, super nice quality, and this one is from the Noble Collection UK. So I did have a friend send this over, and I love it. It's super nice up here. It was a perfect addition. It does come with that little base. So I loved adding that to these shelves. All right, so that is going to wrap up today's Harry Potter room updates. Definitely let me know what your favorite update was in today's video in my comments below. But as always, if you liked today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!